Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today on, um, I think one of the most useful features of Caden Live or probably any video editor for that matter. And that's the ability to uh, select zones for export. So typically when you're editing a video on a uh, timeline based editor like Caden or DaVinci or whatever you edit in, uh, you know, you're gonna be wrapping up the project and exporting the whole file. Sometimes, however, you're dealing with something like this. So the material I'm currently uh, working with is a um, speech at a conference, right? And it's about a 30, let's see how much I've got left on my timeline. I have about 30 minutes here on my timeline. And I'm in the process of just extracting a few clips for social media. So you might be posting on Twitter where if memory serves correctly, there is a 60 second video limit. Don't quote me on that, it could be wrong. Um, or LinkedIn where it's two minutes. So you might be, you know, if you're working in marketing and using video for marketing, you might be perusing a long video like this and trying to pull out some sound bites or memorable quotes. So there's a very easy way to do this on Caden Live and you're gonna need two keys on your keyboard, I and O. Now I'm using Caden Live on Ubuntu. Uh, to, the, to the best of my knowledge, these um, keyboard shortcuts are uh, cross-platform, but I may be wrong about that. Um, but uh, if you're on Ubuntu anyway, this should work. So here is my position on the timeline. So let's say I want to uh, cut a little bit here and I wanted to, you know, get rid of this pause here and put these clips together. And now I wanted to take from here to about here. So what I want to do is click on the keyboard I. I'm gonna click the I key now, I for indigo. Um, and what you'll notice is, click it again, so what you'll actually see, it's a little bit hard to make out there, but there is a, the selected zone has begun. If I really zoom in, you can see where it is, right? So clicking I will start the selected zone. And let's go up to here, and now you wanna click O. And now what you see is that that blue uh, area has just jumped from where I clicked I to where I clicked O. And that's about what, uh, 30 seconds worth of video? Uh, 33 to four, it's actually less, it's about, uh, uh, 33 to 42, about nine seconds, right? And I can, let's say I wanted to add a little bit of a fade here. I wanted to cut out the end of that and add a fade out. Now what I wanna do is click into the rendering option. And I have the typical default setting is for full project, but this time I'm going to go for a selected zone and that's going to export. When I render this, it's gonna, it's gonna export only that 11 seconds I grabbed. And uh, you can do this as many times as you want on a piece of video. And it's a really, really useful way to take a long video and break it up for uh, short clips to be published on different social platforms like Facebook or uh, Twitter or LinkedIn, etc. that may have um, file limits. Or you can just take a really long one hour webinar and break it up into the highlights, uh, you know, one minute clips and people can choose to either watch the one minute video or they can uh, watch the whole webinar. And there shouldn't be any problem regarding duplicate content on LinkedIn because technically there are different clips. One is abbreviated clip, one is a full clip. So this is a very useful thing to know how to do. Hope this video has been useful. And if you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.